it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop the division for a long time. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we are back in Montreal at the Bell Center. And with, and with respect to all of the MMA fans globally around the world, for my money, this is the loudest venue I have ever heard for a UFC line. If they say that the United Center is the home that MJ built, this is George St. Pierre's home, the Bell Center in Montreal. And I'm telling you, man, when the hometown boy hits the curtain, these people go crazy. This is a phenomenal fight environment. Oh, look at that leg kick. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Lands a big right hand over. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. So more output, at least in the early going. And already you're seeing an amazing versatility, a different array of strikes out of the city kickboxing rep, Israel Adesanya, throwing a lot of different weapons his opponent's way here tonight. No surprise, the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, the opponent has the advantage. Back in 
and forth we go. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and he pushed his opponent back. So notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Under three minutes now to go in the round. It's work, guys. Come on. Ooh, nice, nice oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Wow, what a kick. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show something. All right, late in the round now, it has been all Israel Adesanya. He's landed a lot of power shots, not necessarily forcing the finish. It's the way that he can land wherever he decides he wants to, with his legs, with his hands, with his elbows. It all comes back to the striking of the last outlet. Tonight, he is putting on a masterful performance. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, hook to the head by Adesanya. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, inside kick. I will see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. But well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to... Oh, this could do it. Just misses there with the left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, nice connection by him there. And that shot actually cut him open, champ. He was landing at a rate that was so high that you knew that something had to change or you would start to see the damage. He opens up the cut on his opponent. Uh, that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself Ready an opportunity. Fight. Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very even in this. That's what did a fantastic job when they put these two in the office. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing 
you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Push kick there to the body. Visibly limping here. Well, DC headgear's not allowed. Oh, oh he might be out. That is it. Oh my God. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion.